Hi, it's me again, Kalen, and I'm back with another video. Before anything else, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button beside it so that you'll get notified every time I upload a new one. Today, I'm going to talk about how to study for hard classes. Calculus, statics, dynamics, strength of material, fluid mechanics, hydraulics, earthquake engineering, matrix analysis, structural analysis, soil mechanics, foundation design, steel design, RCD, PCD, timber design, wala lang, minention ko lang sila, kill me now. <laughs> How to study for hard classes, I mean like, yung mga subjects na napakahirap ipasa, napakahirap makuha ang press. And, hindi ka makakapasa hanggat hindi ka nagsusunog ng kilay. Like, you really need to understand the fundamentals of the problem. Or the classes na kailangan mo ng deeper understanding. Ako kasi, ang una kong ginagawa is inaaral ko lahat ng lectures and notes na binibigay ng professor. i -re recall ko lahat ng tinuro ng mga professor. Iniintindi ko ang bawat steps ng solution. Kapag di ko nag-gets, nagre-rely ako sa textbook. I really, really try to understand every problems. And to test my knowledge, I will try to solve problems without looking on the solutions or yung answers mismo. I'm gonna use my own understanding to solve those problems. I know sometimes, Ah, uh, nagigive up na tayo sa pagsosolve kasi hindi mo na talaga kaya tapusin yung solution and nagigive up ka na, suko ka na. Kaya minsan after 10 minutes, parang gusto mo nang i-check yung answers. No, don't look at the answers. Try try to use your understanding and recall niyo lahat ng principles and concept. Kung di mo na talaga kaya or suko ka na, go back and read. Minsan, if you are stuck on a certain step of the solution, Go check your units, yung conversions nyo, yung given values, and yung steps nyo mismo on solving. Minsan, dun tayo nagkakamali. The more you do this, the faster you can solve a problem on your own. And in exam, you are gonna solve easily the problem that you are assigned to. In engineering exams, may limit lang yung time sa pagsagot. Minsan, one hour lang yung binibigay sa amin. So, you should train yourself na mabilis kayo mag-isip at magsagot. Kung hindi, GG na. Or see you next time. Mas okay na mag-aral kayo in advance para pag malapit na yung exam, you don't really have that much to study na. Kasi nga, nakapag-aral ka na. Just do more practice problem para pag exam, pagkakita nyo pa lang sa problem, hopefully, mas madali na sa inyo. Yung panay ang compute natin ng stresses, tayo naman yung na-stress. Ayoko na sa earth. So, yun guys. Dito na nagtatapos tong video na to. I hope you learned something from me again. See you on my next video. Bye!